Uh, hi everyone! Welcome to the first episode of EJD's podcast. And tonight, we're going to have a special guest, of course. She graduated her Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering at the University of Negros Occidental Recoletos. And recently, she passed no, the Civil Engineering Board exam this November 2021, finishing as the second placer lang naman with a rating of 92.75. Grabe. Today, we are going to discover her story, ano ba ang naging secret niya, and how she prepared for the board exam. Let's welcome to the podcast, Engineer Charlene Grace Barrera Helotin. Ayan, first of all, congratulations, Engineer, and welcome to the program. So, good evening. Good evening, Engineer D, and good evening, everyone. Thank you uh, for congratulating me. So, I hope everyone is fine. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Charlene. Thank you for saying yes to this podcast. And I'm very curious about this, Charlene. How does it feel like to be a registered civil engineer na and being the top two in the board exam nonetheless? Um, right now, sir, um, two days after na after the results were released, I'm still feeling euphoric. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm still at a high. And actually, this is a dream come true. And I waited a year for this. So... Mm-hmm. Till now, I, I am on uh, high energy and low stress. <laughs> yes, definitely. And baka no, nakatulog ka na rin ng mahimbing after... Uh, how, how many months ka ba nag-prepare for the board exam? I started reviewing, sir. Siyempre, when I was still in fifth year, pero I enrolled in a review center starting 2020. So, mm-hmm. let's say I reviewed for over a year. Not I just see. months, no? Than the usual na, na set up. Yes, ayan. So you mentioned about your review center. Yeah, and this is an opportunity for you to mention which review center and uh, I believe do you rec- would you recommend uh, na mag-enroll yung mga civil engineering uh, graduates sa isang review center? Just like every top not sure, no? Uh, uh, with with our circumstance, since we were given more than a year to review, I uh, enrolled in multiple review centers. Something that, you know, in the normal setup, I wouldn't have been able to do. I enrolled in four review centers. However, the review center which I stayed on for three consecutive semesters is Jersey or Hilisanya Engineering Review Center. Yes, <laughs> from Cebu. Uh, proud to talk Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> ayan amazing. How about would you recommend ba other uh, engineering graduates also to enroll in a review center or do you say a, a self review would work? Review centers usually have a structured plan mm-hmm. on the topics to discuss. And actually, that helps. Also, enrolling yeah. in a review center would, you know, keep you motivated throughout uh, your entire review season. Because, you know, if you're on your own sometimes, if right. you're, um, you, you have no classmates or no professors to give you assignments or to give mm-hmm. you tasks, you know, you might fall off the schedule and, you know, you might just stop studying someday at one point so i would suggest mm. enroll in a review center and if you want to top enroll in more than one yeah and that's probably one of the best uh, secret sauce na isang top notch na maraming ano uh, maraming yeah, review yes, center sir. na ini-enrollan ayan uh-huh. sige of course this success no uh, is very sweet but i know that ano uh, marami tayong struggles na experience while well preparing for the board exam uh what are these struggles, I know, engineer Helotin, and what did you do to overcome them? In our circumstance, sir, in our experience, from or in my experience, the Gurkhan to one obstacle that I had to, you know, um, overcome would be the fact that my review is done online. Uh, graduating, I expected that, you know, I would go to Cebu and be with mm-hmm. my classmates, uh, meet my professors. But in reality, I was all alone in my room with almost no one to talk to. And mm-hmm. the thing is, in my school uh, from UNOR, hindi kasi marami talaga yung gustong kumuha gad ng board exam. Yeah. Most of my um, classmates really want to take on the May 2022. Hindi delay, so, no? Yes, uh, talagang mag defer So, kami, yung mga nag, you know, nag-suicide na kumuha noong November 2021 <laughs> are just so few that um, yung support system is very low. So, parang sometimes I cry on my own, in my bed alone, thinking that no one can relate to me. And I feel so isolated. 
because I know that if I were in Cebu right now and I have my professors with me, my classmates with me, I would have felt some kind of consolation maybe because there are people who can understand my struggle. But in the online setup, you have to face that on your own. And right. I feel like everyone who took the board exam experienced that. Um, that's mm. why it's understandable that we had a very low passing rate. Yeah. Uh, there are 4,000 who failed to yeah. pass. And it's for the given setup, it's really, really understandable. You know, with regard your uh, board exam experience, okay, let's go to that. Uh, how did you find the board exam? Was it easy, was it average, or difficult? What are your personal thoughts around the board exam? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, first step, MCE. I know everyone would have the same sentiment. There were mm-hmm. so many unfamiliar questions. There were so many alien foreign questions that in my one year of reviewing, in four review centers, questions I only read for the first time. Mm-hmm. And it was disheartening, Shepard, while I was taking yes. at the MSC set. Um, uh, talagang sumakit yung ulo ko, sir. Um, uh, <laughs> Even for yung... a top-notcher, ah, sumasakit yung ulo. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, na parang I had to ask sana for Biogesi kasi parang I need medicine that time. Kasi I, I said, oh my God, I have to stay here until 6 p.m. And I'm not feeling well. How will I perform mm. for hydraulics? Which is a good thing because during the hydraulic set, um, it was, you know, very easy for me, maybe. Yes. Um, Relatively uh, easier versus the MSTE uh, set. Yes, sir. The HGE set is meant to be answered for four hours, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, pero I was able to finish in less than an hour. After nice. that, they kind of reviewed it for four times and I was the first one to get out of the room. I was really confident. Nice. And same thing with structural, maybe. I was able to finish it in one hour and 30 minutes. I reviewed three times as well. And nice. uh, again, uh, ako yung pinakunang lumabas ng room. <laughs> I was confident for both HGE and Struck to the point that, you know, when I arrived back at Macaulay, I thought, wow, parang, parang perfect ko yung dalawang sets. Nice. All right. <laughs> so you knew uh, right after you took both the second and third sets, no, the HGE or the Hydraulics and uh, Geotechnical Engineering and also mm-hmm. the... Uh, SEC or SEC, no, Structural yes. Engineering and Construction, that yes. uh, in a way, you were confident about uh, at least passing it, no? Uh, yes. Perfect Mm-mm. to the point of going perfect. <laughs> That's nice because I always I always tell the students or those who are, who are going to uh, take the board exam that you have to maximize their time and make sure that they will go, go over the answers at least three times. Yes, and since you yes, did that yes. very efficiently in a very short time and you went <laughs> over your answers three or four times for both sets, I think it's very commendable. That only means or that only meant that you were very prepared to take this board exam. So it was only a matter of the MSTE, correct? About yes, uh, being able to pass or top the board exam. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, when I arrived back at Macaulay, I kept saying to my mom, uh, Ma, alam mo, talaga yung mga top notchers, yung knockout MSTE na. And mm, I kept saying correct. na uh, if the errors in MSTE were, you know, considered or if mm-hmm. I managed na makachamba, I would be in the 10. And, you know, yeah. luckily, in lang, no? 10 lang yung minamanage natin expectations and yet yes. here we are. We finished in the top two. Grabe. <laughs> Ayun. It's, I don't know, I'd like to add to that, uh, uh, Charlene, around, I know, around your sharing on, mahirap talaga sa batch na dapat, I took the boards in May 2015. Mm-hmm. In MST, ilan din talaga yung parang nagpakabasa <laughs> akin. Although, hindi ako top notcher, no? I'm just Uh-oh. a plain uh, board okay. exam passer ng civil engineering. Mm-hmm. But, uh, ev- uh, I shared this a lot of times before in my page that, uh, after, oh, so I read your story actually. Yeah, after oh. the first set, and dami talaga umiyak, and I could have easily mm. been swayed by the emotions of yung mga mm-hmm. na give up, anong disheartened. But, sure, I understand no, the emotions that, uh, mahirap, no? And uh, I think yung talaga ang design ng, ano, ng board exam that it, uh, the first set parang pahirapan to test talaga Mm-mm. your character. Yes. Kasi Uh-oh. I mentioned this in previous a lot of times that the board exam is not only a test of your knowledge, it is also a test of your yes. character. 
Yes. All right. So, ayun, grabe, no? Yung board exam experience natin. So, uh, let's go now to the point of the results. Nasa results na tayo. What oh, did you yes, do? Uh, siguro, I'll start this with, uh, how did you find out about your results and what did you do the first minute you discovered you topped the board exam? Um, so actually, on the on the night the results were released, um, there was um, a news that broke that they said it will be released on December, pa. So yes, um, I saw that. I, I, I think I, that was a uh, PRC Cebu, yes, if I'm not mistaken, uh-oh. a story, yes. no, the fake news yes. that done. <laughs> so and actually on the night that I that the results were released, I can I kinda shared that screenshot of yeah. the story of Fair Cebu <laughs> and I kinda captured na um bakit pa ako civil engineering ayoko na sana na sana nag bed tech na lang ako sana nag it na lang ako and and you know two hours later the results were released and you know I kind of felt stupid. But it's still on my timeline right now. So people were telling me, see, you really don't know what's gonna happen in life. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, sir, um, the first person to view the result was my brother. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I was scrolling through Facebook thinking, I'm, say, um, maybe I'm just gonna go to sleep now because they said mm-hmm. it's gonna be released on December 3. Yes. yes. But however, I saw one post I saw a friend who said, congrats, engineers. And, and oh my God, I kind of went out of my room and I said to my brother, um, uh, no, you, you, you results and Jenna. And uh, since he was on the site already, he refreshed and he was the one who looked at it and he said, oh, top two ka. And, you know, we shouted. That's why yeah, I, I have man. sore throat right now. Hindi pa makana, nakarecover from the celebration. Oh. Yes. Grabe. <laughs> Ayan, sige, as you probably know, uh, that feeling par- na, na kikerry mo pa rin right now. And siguro mm-hmm. ang uh, next question ko would be, uh, in terms of uh, yung success mo, uh, who do you owe your success to? And I think I've, mm-hmm. I've seen your, I know, I've seen a parang uh, dedication post, no? And we, we would like to hear uh, mm-hmm. from you, ano, sino ba yung pinagpapasalamatan mo? Mm-hmm. So, actually, sir, for every time that, you know, I get to be asked that question, my answer is always the same. For all my achievements, big or small, talaga yung um, the reason that I can achieve them is because of the sacrifices of my mother first and my hard work comes second. Um, you know, I, I am a product of privilege, sir. I am not someone's, you know, I'm not a farmer's daughter like that. Uh, I had two professional, well-established parents. Um, though my father died when I was in high school and my mom practically raised me alone throughout college. But, you know, with the money uh, they, you know, provided me uh, to be able to provide me the, all the resources, to be able to enroll in all review centers that I wanted, because of that, I was able to top. If it weren't because of them, you know, uh, somewhat, I wouldn't be where I am right now. Grabe. So probably your mother is the happiest person when you discovered, your family discovered that you uh, topped the board exam. Yes, sir. Um, but actually, um, when we were waiting, kasi, um, I kept I keep saying to her that ma, feeling ko matap kid ko ya or ma, I <laughs> feel like I'm really gonna top. You know, to the point that our conversation were going na ma, um. Do I decide na ba the tarpaulin for 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 my bit for my ano? And I keep saying her ma, if I top, I should. Dapat may tarp, dapat may tarpaulin ako sa SM and ganon. And we're just mm. laughing, you know. But you know, it actually came through. Who would have thought? And actually, right now we're just full of looking back at our mm-hmm. journey, the conversations we had, our you know fantasies, yeah. our imagination which you know came into reality yeah amazing you have an amazing story no engineer hello team and i hope many others will be able to find inspiration in your story and probably siguro yung next question ko would be around ano naman no uh, as of the moment did somebody from your university or review center uh, promise any incentives after this board exam success the only incentive I got as of now from my school is a Facebook post, which All is right. understandable, Siguro, because they are busy right now. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe uh, 
they are planning some things, but I haven't been able it, to contact them because I'm busy with my masters, man. And uh, yeah, like okay. after this weekend, Siguro will will talk and I'll uh, do a courtesy visit. But okay. right now I have planned interviews and I'm supposed to meet with our city mayor, nice. um, provincial governor, um, barangay captain, and. I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so that makes you an instant celebrity instead in in your uh area. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I um I, I kept saying to my brothers that you know if I top, I will become a niche celebrity because it, when <laughs> when I was in college and there were you know the re- the results were released, mm. I I would stalk the top notchers. So like I search sila and you know I I read their posts, I check who they are and. I kept thinking, oh my God, if I top, will people do the same thing? And yes. <laughs> I'm not sure, but... And it's you know. going to be a reality soon. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what, you used to sh- uh, what you used to see on other people's... I don't know. For example, I think also you knew R because it's a very excellent engineering school then in your area. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. produced top notchers before. So you're mm-hmm. going to be part of that circle now. <laughs> Actually, so I can't believe that um, content creators like you who are who I just mm-hmm. follow online would actually reach out to me. <laughs> I, I still feel elated and I really can't believe wow, this is happening to me right now. And uh, um, uh, people, um, people by batchmates who are kind of you know famous on Facebook are keeping tabs with me, and you know, it makes you happy, it makes you feel validated. Yes, definitely. You know what, uh, Engineer uh, Charlene, no? the, all of these things, uh, you really deserve this because you worked hard. And also, it's a product of your mother's hard work, as you mentioned. And mm-hmm. this is the reality, no? The grabe, amazing. The results have been, ano ba, kumbaga, ito na yun. Uh, you deserve all the success you are getting right now because mm-hmm. of your hard work, your parents' hard work, and your determination, etc. Alright, let's now go. No, let's now do- go mm-hmm. to the part where I will ask about your uh, college life. So, mm-hmm. ayan. Uh, first of all, I would like to know why did you choose this course or who or what was your uh, inspiration? I am sir a uh, dependent scholar uh in you know R. So mm-hmm. um from kinder to fifth year um because my mother is a is a faculty at the academe I paid mm-hmm. notation and I know um in fourth year high school alam ko na I will study college in you know R as well and I was thinking what is the program that you know R can offer me that would best suit my capacities from grade 6 to high school I've always loved design, analysis, math. And though I have the inclination in writing, because I have, I am a campus journalist since I was in grade Ooh, 4 until, nice. in, until I graduated. So that was to a total of 12 years of experience <laughs> as a campus journal. I, am, I have this writing creative side that, you know, people would sometimes question me if it's true because you're an engineer, right? It's yeah. a class of... Of, of two disciplines. But That's a stereotype, no? Na yes. engineers are bad, mm-hmm. in, are bad in English. Yeah, but... <laughs> Who told you, no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who told yeah. you? <laughs> but yeah, um, because I knew right from the start, I have... I am good at and I enjoy yeah. analysis, math, physics. I enrolled in the best program you know are can offer me and that's civil engineering. All right. So it was a very conscious decision, no? Kasi, uh, Charlene, I encounter a lot of students na parang di nila alam what they were getting into, ano ba yung civil mm. engineering, tapos uh, yung performance ni nung school nila uh, mm. where they enrolled in. Kasi merong ganung cases, eh, but uh, mm. it's good, no? That you were very intentional about being a civil engineer uh, uh, upon deciding for your college course. And that's, and that's, very, and that's very awesome. Mm-hmm. Can you share your favorite subjects uh, in your engineering studies or probably if pwede mo rin ikwento yung mga least like no, or mga hindi mo gusto mm-hmm. subjects. Actually, uh, off the top of my head, I have no favorite subject during my five years in engineering. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Um, okay. However, I, I would go into the realm of the review, no? Because it was there when I got 
more in touch with concepts bala that I kind of mm-hmm. missed in college. Mm-hmm. The subject that I really loved the best is um, hydraulics and geotechnical engineering. Yes. Though there were so many formulas, yeah. maybe the reason why I loved them was during the review, I had these moments of epiphany na, ay hala, mo malang galit ni. And mm-hmm. the, uh, maybe that's why I kind of loved that subject because I found them very hard during college. Initially, and upon no? review, realizing that they were easy, God, I love you. That's why in HGE, <laughs> uh, br- um, weeks before, sir, the board exam, I was solving a thousand problems per day. Um, HGE, sir, I, I keep telling my mom, mas yung lang ko, even if I, I close my eyes, I feel like I can solve HGE problems. So, that's, can you repeat that's, that? That is 1,000 problems per day. Did I hear that correctly? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, wow, HGE grabe. problems. Uh-oh. <laughs> grabe, no? How about, uh, you can choose not to answer this, no? how about your least like or yung mga medyo hirap ka, let's say, no? Most of my classmates were probably say design, especially steel, um, because in NSCP 2015, yes. diba, sir, there are so many long formulas that we had to use a lot of mnemonic devices and to the point na they jumble, you don't know the definition, but so I have no problem be with memorization. So mm-hmm. I actually love skill design. It's one of the <laughs> subjects I excelled in in college. So nice. this subject it, in college, it would be probably a minor subject in PE. <laughs> uh, yung mga hindi related. Education. Mga yes, hindi related mga, sa engineering. No? Yes, yung magpapahamak <laughs> sa'yo. Eh, na it, it, yes. it distracts you from your major <laughs> subjects. Ganong level. <laughs> Grabe. Yung mga minor subjects na feeling major-major. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry na lang sa PE teacher mo nung college. No? <laughs> Baka mag-react siya. Alright, <laughs> sige. Uh, in terms naman of your uh, academic performance uh, mm. back in college, did you have any subject failures? Or would Mm-mm. you remember any disappointing na uh, grade uh, to the very Mm-mm. least? Siguro, sir, for that question, I have two, two stories to tell. First would be when I kind of fell off ma, the qualification for cum laude. It mm-hmm. happened on the second sem of my fourth year. And I remember I was crying and I keep saying, uh, I can't go and uh, talagang sayang kasi I have one year left to go na. Mm-hmm. And to think that I was uh, I was a member of the editorial board of our student publication those years. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I I keep saying that if only my teachers understand the things that I'm doing, I hope that, mo, no? uh, you know, all the things you're doing as um, someone who tacos extracurricular, but, mm-hmm. but, um, but however, um, I accepted my 279 from hydraulics and structural theory mm-hmm. with a brain space. Um, wala na kayo, sir. Ma, um, clean grado. I, I keep saying to my mom na it's all right, ma, because these are so, these are my grades, good yeah. These are mine. Mm, so yeah. it's uh of, you. It was a I know it was an admission that that was your performance for the yes, subject. Sir, oh. I see. Mm-hmm. How unfortunate, so, no, that it pulled you down to I know to your status sana as ikom laude. Yes, because you know, the it there is that. Um, uh, that reputation that it's difficult to earn mm-hmm. a lot in honor in engineering. Definitely. Yes, and I keep, you know, sana cum laude na lang, at least cum laude, but mm-hmm. I didn't have that. That's why mm-hmm. maybe my drive during the review was kinda unparalleled because mm, I felt I like I have something yeah. to prove. <laughs> and, I was and going it, to ask your that, that, no, how did you cope up and it turned out well naman pala that these kinds of failures propelled you to the top. Would you agree? Yeah. Yes, sir. Definitely. It, those, you know, uh, uh, failures just mm-hmm. uh, set you up for kind of a big success. Ang amazing kasi uh, you missed being a cum laude and yet you emerged as a top two in the, yeah. ano, in the board <laughs> exam. That's an uh, inspirational uh-huh. story. Na, ano, no? Minsan mo lang maririnig sa engineering kasi others na uh, assume na, for example, you're a cum laude, you're expected the more to perform mm. uh, well in the board exam. And with mm. you not being able to reach that uh, that Latin honor, uh, you yeah. use that 
use that uh, opportunity to rise above and be able to get the mm. top spot in the board exam. Super amazing. All yes, right. sir. Thank you. Uh, at this point, uh, uh, let's go now to the uh, study tips or tricks. No, what what worked for you as you reviewed uh, for the board exam? I think my technique is something that all top notchers have been doing for, since from the past. It's the Pomodoro technique, right, diba, sir? Yes, Where definitely. You, yes, because the Pomodoro technique is a technique that would help you study for long periods. Yes. So, my my goal when I was reviewing was to study for 10 to 12 hours per day. I have a mm-hmm. schedule that I sleep for 8 hours, I study yes. for 12 hours, and the rest would be for what my body needs. Mm-hmm. And the thing that, the technique that aided me in that goal is Pomodoro. Because, mm-hmm. um, actually, sir, I, when I do Pomodoro, I, I have a sheet on my table where I tally uh, my Pomodoros. Nice. The and cycles, at the end of the day, no? I count how many hours I studied mm. for the day and I keep saying, tomorrow I have to do better, tomorrow I have to do better until yes. it, it, it became a consistent 12 hours. That's why yeah. there's no fatigue. Um, I can do, I can study all day uh, without eating actually if, you know, if you just let me. Mm. <laughs> Which I think other top notchers man, do. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Around Pomodoro, no, since uh, as, you, as you know, dun sa mga hindi nakakaalam ng Pomodoro technique, no, it's mm-hmm. a, a concentrated or focus para mm-hmm. 25 minutes and then mm-hmm. you take the 5 minute break another 25 minutes focus uh, studying or solving yes. problems and then another 5 minute break so that goes on until the 4 cycles and yes. then you'll take a long break tama yes. ba? that's how you did it yes, yes. so yes, same sir. tayo exactly. na ano, understanding na pomodoro because i've also uh, recommend i'm also recommending this beyond being a student even as a professional na if yes. you are Uh-oh. into a uh, need mo na intensive thinking or work you can really apply this Pomodoro technique. Now, I would like to ask, though, what do you do, I know, uh, Engineer Shaili, during those mm-hmm. breaks? Actually, sir, when I am studying during the focus sessions, I keep saying, I have to study for 25 minutes because for the next five minutes, I can listen to a song. So, mm-hmm. I have a Spotify yes. playlist that yeah. I pause <laughs> during the 25 minutes and my reward for myself is I could listen to a song and Mm-hmm. I, it kind of worked for me. I won't. I don't know if it worked for everybody else, yeah. but you know. <laughs> uh, what worked for you, you know, might not work for yes. others. So that's yes. I know. All right. The reason I asked, because I'm having a struggle. A struggle means, for example, ang ang ikli na ba ng five minutes? Yeah, uh, it's this is related mm-hmm. to my current work. Uh, ang ikli, mm-hmm. ikli ng five minutes. Ano ba yung pwede kong gawin before I proceed with the next cycle of mm-hmm. Pomodoro? So ayan. The next question ko, Charlene, no, is mm-hmm. ano naman, uh, are you a index card person or a wall of formulas person? I'm both, sir, actually. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had a lot of time. So I was able to do both. I kind of exhausted all means. I have, you know, uh, uh, formulas on my wall mm-hmm. and formulas on my bag when I need them. Mm. And Gabe, amazing. Mm. So I think every <laughs> top notcher did that, no? That yes, oh no man. Only choose yes. one. You can do both. Why yes. choose one? Diba? When you can do both. <laughs> and secret, amazing. And we're near to the end of our podcast. And mm. uh, in terms, naman of. Uh, let's go back no, a bit. What is the best engineering school advice that can give to other students? For me, sir, uh, do not be afraid to skip class. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, sir, in college, I have the reputation of always skipping classes. Not because I am that kind of student, but because I go to a lot of competitions. And yeah. I've always been afraid. I've always been afraid. Ah, do I gusto miss class? I don't yeah. want to miss class because you know, in engineering, attendance doesn't matter, right? Because right. the teacher doesn't care if you attend. Because either way, <laughs> if you attend or you don't attend, bala. I mean, yes. Bala. You're responsible so, but, for your, I yes. know, for the learnings. Mm-mm. Na parang they're not strict with attendance, but yes, but because of those out of school competitions at the end of the day i can say i am not only book smart 
I am mm-hmm. people smart. I am street smart. Street smart. I am a holistic individual. Yeah. And you know, f- for engineering students, um, kung kaya man lang, try to join organizations where you feel you belong. Yeah. Just try to join um groups uh with people with the same interests as you because mm-hmm. they will support you, and well, you can share your struggles with them. And at the end of the day, you will share your success with them. And that's what I did. I had nice. a group of friends in the student publication, and you know, it, it it's a family. Yeah, amazing, amazing sharing, no? I really like what you said about, I know, like, uh, getting out of your comfort zone also in terms of socializing with other people, not only in your, ano, no, mga, hindi lang yung kilala mo is mga engineering classmates mo lang. Yes, Now you uh-oh. also have to, uh-oh. Uh, kumbaga, expand your network young yes. as you are while engineering students. I really like that. All right, now we'll go now to the point na, ano, no, um, uh, looking ahead. What's next for Engineer Helotin? And what is your target specialization? <laughs> so, during the pandemic, sir, when I was reviewing, I uh, I did a quick internship at the Provincial Engineer's Office of the mm, province of Negros Occidental. And actually, I plan to apply there and at the mm-hmm. Provincial Office of DP. And siguro, sir, the thing that I love, why I want to go back to the PEO or the Provincial Engineer's mm-hmm. Office is that in the planning division where I was assigned, there is another top notcher there. Oh, uh, um, interesting. Yes, you know our sprite as well. Was uh, uh-huh. He is Engineer uh, Kusi. He top second uh, also, I, I guess. I, I the think year. I remember him. Yes, Engineer Kusi. Uh-oh. So he's there in the Provincial Engineer's oh, Office. That's why I think I want to go back because he's there. You know, mm. And, Kumbaga, you look but, up in a way you look up to him and it's something also it's the same I don't know line of career that you want to pursue yes sir actually sir to be honest it's one of the reasons why I chose civil engineering because during our honors convo in fourth mm-hmm. year he was the guest speaker and I remember Ooh. I was so starstruck to think that <laughs> wow you know our produced stuff not sure wow and you know And here and, we are, di ba? Yes, are here we are. At the pleasure as well. And you know, how funny things turned out to be. Yeah. And, so there was uh, a light bulb moment pala when he spoke uh, as a speaker in your, yes, para, I would assume definitely. this is career guidance as a uh, sem- seminar, no? Amazing, amazing. And at this point, no, I would like to ask as my final question, what is your long-term goal ba? As a civil engineer, mm-hmm. ano ba yung gusto mong ma-achieve? Mm-hmm. Um, I have a younger brother, sir, who is enrolled in UNOR as well. He is mm-hmm. a first-year civil engineering student, man. And we keep talking about na if he graduates, we will create our own design and consultancy firm. Nice! <laughs> Siguro That's my, amazing. My, my, my mother can fund that. Or, or my What relative. year is he But, in right now? Anong year na siya? First year. Ah, so first probably year after lang. five years. <laughs> And you'll be able to get ample experience by then. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. That's amazing. That's I won't, amazing plan. I won't do it solo. I have... Yeah. And he's a guy. So we'd have mm. a balance or a dynamic. Correct. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Amazing. Now, no, before we end our podcast, uh, Engineer Charlene, what is your parting message to our listeners? For our listeners who are CE board uh, exam takers, always keep in mind that uh, great things take time. Mm-hmm. If uh, you happen to be a retaker or someone who happened to fail in the past, uh, uh, there are limited chances for our board exam. It's mm-hmm. uh, Anton, uh, something, something. It's, diba, it's foolish you know, to stop trying just because you failed one time. Yes. And as long as there's a chance, go grab it. And para sa mga those who want to really top the board exam, mm-hmm. um, siguro my advice, other top notchers, you know, give relatively the same advice. But probably the thing that best worked for me is First, first and foremost, you have to take care of yourself. Yes. Things won't work out for you if you don't get enough sleep, if you don't eat, if you don't rest. So rest, if your body needs it, you need mm-hmm. that. Your body needs that. 
Definitely. Okay. Ayan. Amazing, amazing. Some people have to learn it the hard way. No? They have to sacrifice their health. And yes. when the time comes that we have to take the board exam, medyo hirap, no? I was there. Yes. Nagganun ako dati. Na parang, <laughs> uh, na, nahirapan ako uh, weeks leading to the board exam mm. due to a, some mm. health concern. So, mm. ayan. Guys, take care of yourself as mm. well. Alright, thank yeah. you so much, Engineer Charlene Grace Helutin for gracing uh, my first podcast as Engineer D. And we're looking forward to hear from you soon. Probably when you have a design firm already, we'll be <laughs> back to this conversation. So no? yes. That will be five years from now. Tatandaan ko yan. And again, you're very generous with your sharing. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, No problems or no worries. Uh, anything for you and for future board exam takers.